Welcome back to the series covering the changes made to the English dub of Mega Man Anti-Warrior. This is the seventh part of a series, and if you haven't seen the other parts, I highly recommend you do. They provide context to some of the general changes I have been covering. In today's video, I am taking a look at episodes 48 to 51, what I call the Grave Arc. This arc could also be called Gospel, the original Japanese name of Grave. Whatever you all prefer, this is just a matter of preference. So with that, let's get looking. Episode 48 has been retitled from Cybernetic Monster to The Virus Beast. Yai using her rubber band bazooka during the rubber band battle at school is cut out. Mari being upset has different finished animation in the English version. Mesa fighting Higgs before Mari's affection is cut out. In this episode, Yahoo's shop is once again left unedited. Higsby and Mesa trying to get Mari's attention is cut out in this very long sequence, where she prefers to have Rush's company instead. This changes Sal and Miu's conversation from what they just witnessed to commenting on Lan and his friends. Rush checking out Navi Booty and following it with the Warner Brothers love eyes is cut out. During Mega Man's battle with Thunderman, a quick shot of him using his buster on screen and Thunderman blocking it is cut out. And finally, a flashback to literally seconds earlier in the episode is cut out. Episode 49 has been retitled From Gospel to Grave. The dub adds a 46 second long recap. The dub removes Mega Man and Proto Man finishing their fight, while recapping what just happened in the previous episode. This changes the context of their meeting from a fun, quick battle to just exchanging information and then saying bye to each other. Much less dynamic overall. Firewall code is changed in the dub. Chad's company's name has different initials in the dub. This is because in the original version, his company manufactures and designs tech. In the dub, they design video games. Eugene PET company becomes 420 Blaze Quest. The virus beast deleting Net City and the random Navi falling through the Matrix is cut out. The flashback that occurs while Base steals Mega Man's data has completely different footage throughout it. The dub removes multiple parts of the flashback that aren't immediately necessary for the exposition, shortening the scene significantly. Episode 50 has been retitled from Forte to Base. Footage is moved around in the beginning of the episode, to turn the opening of the episode into a recap. Even though a portion of the footage is original and not actually a recap, this is paired with the narrator announcing previously on Anti-Warrior, even though most of the footage is original. The dub cuts out a portion of the flashback of Base taking Mega Man's data. Here's a pretty substantial change. Freeze Man nearly destroyed, and trying to get Dr. Wily's attention before getting deleted by Shadow Man is cut out. The dub waves this away by having the announcer state that Freeze Man was deleted during the confrontation with Heat Man. Considering the footage in both versions after the fight was of Mr. Match crying, thinking Freeze Man had been defeated and that Torchman had been avenged, this actually works in the dub. The footage already connoted a sense of Freeze Man's defeat, so it doesn't feel like anything is cut out in the English version. Roll grabbing Mega Man's arm after witnessing the missing navvies trapped in capsules is cut out. Magnet Man launching his Magnet Strike, and Mega Man using his Buster on screen is cut out. The dub also inverts the footage of Magnet Man and Mega Man rushing towards each other, so that Mega Man runs first now. Mega Man getting kicked by Magnet Man while on the ground is cut out. A repeated occurrence of this while the cast's navvies look on in horror is cut out shortly after. Grave on the floor defeated and short-circuiting is cut out. Mega Man's flashback to base stealing his data is once again trimmed in the dub. Magnet Man and Elect Man throwing hands to each other is cut out. While Wily gives his exposition about having been the mind behind the grave operation, Graves' body on the floor is edited out. This happens twice in this episode. Episode 51 has been retitled from Moment of Breakdown to The End of the End. Magnet Man impaling a like man and the reaction from Gauss and Count Zap is cut out at the start of the episode. Mega Man's Navi Cust code is different between the versions. Mega Man punching Magnet Man so hard that he literally bleeds is cut out. The dub contains the setup but removes the point of impact. Mega Man's scope as he aims at Magnet Man is cut out. This happens twice within the same minute. The deleted text is different on Count Zap's PET. 
Graves' collapsed body while Dr. Wily narrates is once again removed. Yai's security system falling on Mr. Famous is cut out. The dub contains the exposition but removes the scene of the pan falling and the immediate reaction. Graves' arm falling off while getting away from Dr. Wily is cut out. Because of this, the dub goes from Wily's extreme close-up to Grave walking away. And that covers the Grave arc. This arc contains the first major visual edit outside of the general changes, with Graves' body being removed from the scenes with Dr. Wily. It is an innocent enough change, and considering that Grave is ultimately left alive in the further plot, this works out and doesn't rewrite any of the major story beats in the series. Freeze Man's death being rewritten to Heat Man defeating him versus Shadow Man doing it follows the same idea. Because of the way the scene with Mr. Match was already presented, this doesn't change anything at all. All the original scene did was just give Shadow Man a purpose during this arc, considering he is largely absent. But overall, nothing of value was completely cut out. And with that, there is one more arc in this series. Plug in next time to see Part 8, the Life Virus arc, and the conclusion to the Mega Man Anti-Warrior censorship series.